I think that um, with the prevalence now of, of storing information online and doing business with third-party vendors, um, inevitably there are going to be security breaches, inevitably there's going to be community backlash uh, when, when these things happen. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges is to make sure that the folks in our, di in our school districts who are in charge of vetting these companies and selecting them use all the due diligence at their disposal to make sure that we're hiring people who know what they're doing to minimize that possibility. And, and one of the problems is that, you know, if you use New Jersey, where I'm from as an example, in tiny little New Jersey, we've got just under 600 separate school districts crammed into that small state, each with their own superintendent, each with their own administration, each with their own school board. And, um, you know, to have the technical know-how in every one of those 590 some odd districts to be able to deal with this is a real is a real challenge. So getting getting so what school districts are doing is they're consulting with each other, they are pooling their resources, they're getting information from organizations like National School Boards Association. Uh, I'm very active in the National School Boards Association's Council of School Attorneys, which are about 3,000 of people like myself around the country who advise school districts who speak with each other literally every day on a listserv that we have. Where if somebody encounters a problem in California, I'm hearing about it in New Jersey within minutes. Um, so sharing information so that we are in a position to be on the front lines and keep our clients abreast of the latest developments and expectations also, I think, will help us overcome some of these challenges. You know, none of this matters until there's a problem. But as I like to tell my clients, you know, none of this is a problem until it's a problem. And then once it is, uh, if you haven't had these discussions beforehand, you're going to have a lot of explaining to do at that point.